Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code by weekly contest 88. Uh, I, I know there might be too much sound that is because of the the Shara celebration going on in my society. So yeah, uh, pretty tough to make the videos, but still <laughs> trying my best. Uh, so yeah, it's an easy level problem. The problem name is remove letter to equalize frequency. So the problem statement says that you are given a zero index string word consisting of lowercase English characters. You need to select one index and remove the letter at that index from word. Now so that the frequency of every letter present in the word is equal. Return true if it is possible to remove one letter so that the frequency of all letters in word are equal uh, and return false otherwise. Uh, the frequency of a letter X is the number of times it occurs in the string. Uh, you must remove exactly one letter and cannot choose uh, to uh, and cannot choose to do nothing. Um, also uh, on the right side you can see that the uh, acceptance percentage of this, the, uh, this this problem is pretty less uh, that is because of a couple of corner cases that I'll be discussing with you uh, so let's directly jump into the explanation so the problem says that you are given a word uh, let me pick up the first example itself so that is a b c and c so the problem says that you need to like you can remove one uh, one character from this string right any one character so that the frequency of all the characters in this string is equal right like for example if i remove c from this string so the frequency of a b and c becomes equal uh, everyone has a frequency of one right so the, in this case i'll return true that yes it is possible to remove a character to make the frequency is equal if i take the second example so that is a a z z so you can see here the frequency of a is two the frequency of z is also two so even if you remove any character, suppose you remove this, so the frequency of A and Z is unequal. A becomes 2 and Z becomes 1. And if you remove A uh, uh, and not remove Z, so then it becomes A is 1 and Z is 2. So in this case, we'll return false, right? So uh, the basic approach that might come to your mind is, uh, given a string, we can make a frequency array of 26 that basically contains the frequency of each and every letter like a b c to z right um, they they can contain the frequency and then i can do certain checks to see whether uh, whether whether the string can be transformed into a valid string or not right now <coughs> the main issues here are suppose you calculate the frequency right suppose you calculate the frequency and the frequency is somewhat like um, I'll, I'll consider suppose three characters a b and c so the frequency of this is 2 the frequency of this is 2 and the frequency of this is 3 right so if this is the case so what 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 will happen i remove this and it becomes 2 to 2 yes this is a valid case right the second case can be a b and c it is 2 it is 2 and suppose it is 1 so i remove this and it becomes 2 and 2 right so what what i mean to say is that the valid possibilities can be that if frequency of uh, so suppose there are n distinct characters right so for n minus one characters if the frequency is x and if for the nth character that means the last remaining character if the frequency is x plus one then this is a valid case right uh, or if the frequency for n minus one characters is x and the frequency for the nth character is one then also it becomes a valid case so you see checking these cases uh, will be a little bit cumbersome along with some other edge cases so uh, if you go with the constraints that are given in the question so that is 100 that means the length of the word can be 100 uh, however this the problem can be solved using this approach as well but since this was a contest and as um, and this was the first problem and uh, i already saw that there are multiple cases to be checked so there it could be possible that it leads to a wrong answer so a safer side was i saw the constraints the constraints were just 100 so even if i do 100 cross 100 uh, based algorithm that is bigger of n square then also it will pass so, so the simplest thing that i did was you you take the string right and at every step you remove like for i equals to 0 to word of length minus 1 you remove each and every character you remove i the 0th character you get a new string check whether the frequency of all the characters are equal or not if that is equal return true if it is false continue go to the first character now remove this one 
uh, however this will be intact right so for for um, for length l at every step you take l minus 1 characters and which character will you skip you will skip the ith character where i goes from 0 to length minus 1 right so you do this at every step you check whether you are getting a valid string or not as soon as you get a valid string you just return true that yes i can form a valid string or at last you return false right so this will be the solution um, the time complexity will be big of n square so you can see what i have done here uh, for simplicity uh, on, on line number four i have started a loop on line number five i have taken string builder just for optimization purposes uh, i do temp dot uh, delete character at i you can also do substring you can also use uh, use string base function but that is not so important here then on line number eight i have taken a frequency array and on line number nine and ten i have calculated the frequency of each and every character that i get in my new string right now what i have done uh, just for simplicity i was lazy enough uh, to do to do certain checks so what i did i took a set and when frequency was not equal to so for all the non-zero values i put that into the set that means all the frequencies i inserted that into the set obviously if that is not zero because if that is zero that means that character is not present so no need to consider that at last on line number 18 if my set size equals to one then i return true that means yes i get a, get a valid string or else i return false right so yeah this was the solution um, I, I hope you learned something new from this video do support it by giving up thumbs up do subscribe to the channel in case you have any queries uh, do mention that into the comments uh, uh, I, I would i would revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye